Since 2010, homelessness has doubled. 120,000 children don't have a home to call their own. Home ownership has fallen. Thousands are living in homes that are unfit for human habitation. That's why, along with our Shadow Housing Minister, John Healy, and I thank John for his work, we're launching... <laughs> ..a review of social housing policy. It's planning, building, regulation and management. We will listen to tenants across the country and propose a radical programme of action and bring it back to next year's conference. But some things are already very clear. Tenants are not being listened to. We will insist that every home is fit for human habitation, a proposal this Tory government voted down in Parliament. And we will control rents when the younger generation's housing costs are three times more than those of their grandparents. That is not sustainable. Rent controls exist in many cities across the world, and I want our cities to have those powers too, and tenants to have those protections. We also need to tax undeveloped land held by developers. Yeah. And have the power to compulsory purchase as Ed Miliband said, use it or lose it. <laughs> families, families need homes. After Grenfell, we must think again about what are called regeneration schemes. Regeneration is a much abused word. Too often, what it really means is forced gentrification and social cleansing. As private developers, as private developers move in and tenants and leaseholders are moved out. We are very clear. We will stop the cuts to Social Security. But we need to go further, as conference decided yesterday. So when councils come forward with proposals for regeneration, we will put down two markers based on one simple principle. Regeneration under a Labour government will be for the benefit of the local people, not private developers, not property speculators. First, first, people who live on an estate that's redeveloped must get a home on the same site and the same terms as before. No, no social cleansing, no jacking up of rents, no exorbitant ground rents. And secondly, councils will have to win a ballot of existing tenants and leaseholders before any redevelopment can take place. Real generation, real regeneration, yes, but for the many, not the few.